Hello and welcome to part 7 of Let's Play Corpse Party. Last time we died. A horrible, horrible death of scissors and stuff. You know, I just realized that scissors are like some running gag. <laughs> gag, really. Getting killed is a gag. Mm, I'm a douchebag. Well, the, uh, <laughs> the, the scissors seem to be a running theme in this game. Like, well, not necessarily a like, canon thing, but, uh, you know, the scissor dude in the freaking, the, uh, what the, uh, chalkboard and the scissors I just swallowed and killed myself with. Uh, what's with the scissors? I'd like to know. Or rather, I don't want to know, because clock tower. Well, anyway, we died and, uh... I then remembered uh, there was one key I had not gotten and one place I had not been into which could probably be part of the reason why I died so let's go get the key uh, it's it's uh, that blue ghost thingy will give the key and this is like a freaking lobby where you start the game from. Uh, it's the blocked off staircase. So talk to the ghost and get the key. You know what I just realized? That spinning thing in the lower right corner, that thing in the text box, it's that uh, Sachiko paper thing they ripped apart in the beginning. I wonder how that has anything to do with this game. Oh well, we'll figure that out later on. Probably, hopefully. So yeah, now I just have to... Oh crap, I hate this music. It's creepy. Oh yeah, the candle lit again. I don't know why it did that, but it just did. Amazing. So yeah. Uh, the key goes, goes to the only door that says it's locked instead of being unable to open. And this is the one. The door is locked, and the unknown key seems to fit in the locked perfectly. The room can now be entered. Oh, okay. Can't you hear it calling to you? Yes, yes, I hear all these voices in my head. I don't know which one is the treasure. Is it shiny? I hope it is. Yeah, if we, if we don't want to die, then enter the fucking room! That thing. Yay. Uh, is that zero four or zero nine through eighteen? Okay, day duty, Yoshizawa Azusa. Okay then, can I touch that? No, maybe possibly. And there's a pile of bones. It's, it's very interesting, really. Uh, there, candle, but it's unlit. Ooh, can I use the matches on those? Because it, it that 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 would actually be pretty awesome. And useful, like a ink ribbon in Resident Evil. Just matches and candles instead of 
ink and typewriters. They didn't, didn't touch the pile of bones. Oh my god! Painstakingly. That's a new word to me. <laughs> oh, that, that seems... That seems hurdy. Yeah, I use the word hurdy. I might be a retard. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't look at the newspaper. Yeah, don't look at the news. No, she still talked. Sorry. Uh, don't look at the newspaper. Oh, I will. I will just take a peek. Just a little peek. Heavenly Post, breaking news. Serial kidnapping ends in murder. Whoa. That's news. <laughs> oh god, that was a horrible pun. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, the good name of Heavenly Host Elementary School has been stained in blood today as horrific details on the recent wave of disappearance have revealed. <laughs> yeah, that's newsreader. He's crazy. Mm. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing with the town. Within the town. <laughs> missing with the town. Oh my god. I can't read anymore! Uh, and authorities quickly turn to kidnapping as the most likely explanation. <sighs> good, good to be positive, I guess. I mean, being kidnapped is better than being dead. In some cases, I don't know. Never been kidnapped or murdered. Ah. Uh, now investigators have located the whereabouts of these children, and their findings are far worse than anyone could have anticipated. My god, the bodies of the absconded youths were discovered within the Heavenly Host Elementary School building on September 18th. Uh, I'm guessing that's 1973, at around 7 p.m. <laughs> Authorities further revealed that the male instructor from the school was found with them, alive but near catatonic, holding a pair of bloody scissors. That's those scissors again. Interesting, actually. Uh, uh, there was. I remember when you check the freaking cabinet in the infirmary, it says something about scissors being in there. I don't know, maybe I'm just digging too deep. Uh, each of the corpses appeared to have had its tongue severed and removed. Unique mutilations far too grotesque to describe. Well, apparently they were so grotesque they had to censor the newspaper. Page is torn at this point, and the bottom half of the article is nowhere to be found. Yes, yes, how awful. That's exactly the way you could die. Interesting, isn't it? Oh, freaking hell, don't tell me the door just closed. Oh crap. Can I take her? I wanted to take it with me. And the door is closed. Yes, that's fantastic. But, yes, this is part of the game, I'm... Oh, you can check the window. Outside the window, so dimly lit as to be almost in... Perceptible looms a sheer wall of dense foliage stretching as far as the eye can see. That's creepy. There's not even a hint of what may lie beyond it. Why does that remind me of amnesia? I play way too much horror games. The amnesia scares the crap out of me. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to find a way out of this room, I guess, maybe? Can I? 
Yes, whatever I do, don't look at the newspaper. I want to look at it again. Oh, uh, now it actually shows the freaking paper. You will never leave this room. That's what the paper says. Well, as I can't read Japanese, I'm just going to go with it. Ah! Bang on the door until it breaks down. Okay. What? That didn't happen last time. Let me out, let me out, let me out! Let me out, let me out. Yes. Yes, yes. Drowning sound. Okay, I can't escape through the window. I can't escape to the desk. How could I escape to the desk? I don't know. Yes, yes, yes. I won't let you out. You don't exist! Oh my god, the freaking... God damn it. Can I, like, jump down the... I'm just mashing pattern. Pattern, button, 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 button. Just mashing buttons here. There's a candle, but it's unlit. Items. Box of matches. That sound hurts my ears, and I can't use it. So it's not like the Increp around. That's lame. Can I jump on the other side? Yes, I want to. Hey, we'll never leave this room. Well, thank you. Oh, a cutscene. There's no way out. You could sleep on it, because everything will be better in the morning. I don't know. Okay. Uh, this is starting to feel like one of those Escape the Room games. But way easier! Just watch a cutscene and you can get out. It's okay. So how did that one dude die? <laughs> Panic to sigh. Oh crud. And how many IDs do you have in there? Is here. Skeletal remains last sprawled across the floor. Closer inspection reveals a school ID name tag. Oh, I can get a name tag from this corpse. Mmm, Raoul, senior high school. Shin Aichi. Oh, I got a name tag. Nice. Is it? No. It wasn't. Can I now take the newspaper? Uh, we'll never pause to leave this room. Hey, eh? screw you, newspaper. You don't tell me what to do. Even if you are a newspaper telling me yesterday's news. Hey, I wanna know how that person died. We're in chapter one. It was Shin Aichi. Trapped in classroom, starved to death. He must not have watched the cutscene! Ah, the room was... was... bare for me because it didn't... trap me there forever. Oh my god! Oh yes, now, now I'm just going to have to do all that stuff I did in the last video. Again! Fighting the ghost and what not and try not to get touched by it but yeah anyway because you have to do that door uh, I mean that classroom uh, trapped being thingy before you go to the infirmary and let Seiko go get strangled and molested by child ghosts uh, so yeah I went back and did that.
and I'm going to end this part here and you will see more in the next part maybe if I can actually end this chapter